How much? Four zero. So four zero is the LCM. Everyone got it. Okay. Now forty by eight. How much? Five. Forty by ten. How much? Four. Okay. Four. Now the formula is total days is equal to total work by total efficiency. Now this forty is my total work. So what is the total work? Forty. Now this five is the efficiency of pipe one. This four is efficiency of pipe two. So five plus four, five plus four, how much you get? So I get 40 by nine. This is the time required to do the complete work. Correct? So how much you get? Now they are asking that if both the pipes are open at the same time, and kept open for four hours okay now look at this they are asking you the pipes are open for how many hours okay now i know the efficiency of a plus efficiency of b how much it is five plus nine how much it is five plus four. Oh, sorry five plus four how much it is nine, nine units so they together they, they do how much unit of work nine. they do nine, nine unit of work this pipes are open for how many hours four hours so nine into four is how much 36 this is the work done in four hours correct this is the work done in four hours what is the total work so 36 by 40 36 by 40 now find out the fraction that is the answer nine by ten correct four nines are Four times the so this is the fraction remaining nine by ten is the answer. Start doing it once again. Uh, let's try take it down. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the fraction remaining. No, no, no. Yeah. Fraction method is okay. Look at this. If, uh, this previous method which I did, it was a shortcut method. Now there is another method which is followed, that is fraction method. See, one, what is what is the meaning of one? One means what? Unity. Now, when we are doing aptitude, you should remember one is nothing but total. One is nothing but total. Let me, let me take an example. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Calculate, convert this into fraction. This person will become what? Hundred by hundred. What will get cancelled? Zero, 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 zero. So what is remaining? One. So can I say one is total? One is total. Now this is, what is this? How many circle? One, one complete circle. Okay, now complete I can say some percentage. Now how much percentage here? 
How much percentage you have? 50%. So 50% can I write 50 by 100? 0, 0 cancel. What is this? 1 by 2. That is why I call this as half circle. I call it as half circle. And this I call it as half circle. Now if I draw one more line like this, this I will call it as 25 percentage. So 25 percentage can be written as 25 by 100. What happens? 25 ones are 25 fours are 1 by 4. What is the answer? 1 by 4. So remember in aptitude, remember this formula, total is nothing but 1. Even in probability, you will use the same thing. Probability chapter will use this, the same thing. So 1 is equal to something here. Okay, what I require, what is remaining. Okay, like that. Now, here the question is, there is a pipe which can fill it in 8 hours. There is a pipe which can fill it in 10 hours. So 1 hour work, can I say it is 1 by 8? 1 hour work is 1 by 8. Don't write, look here. Dave. 1 hour work is 1 by 8. 1 hour work of this pipe? 1 by 10. I will check in 1 hour how much work is done by both the pipes because both the pipes are open. So when I add 1 by 8 plus 1 by 10, what is the LCM of 8 and 10? 40. So what happens here? This is 5 by 8, plus, uh, sorry, 5 by 40 plus 4 by 40. So what happens? 5 plus 4 by 40. What happens? 9 by 40. So in 1 hour, when both the pipes are open, in one hour, when both the pipes are open, how much work they are doing? How much work they are doing? Nine by forty. You understand? Now these pipes are open for how many hours? So can I say nine by forty into four into four? Now what will it cancel? Four ones are four times. What is the answer? Nine by ten. So in four hours they have done how many units of work? Nine by ten. You understand? We can do like this also. Sure. Then how did 5 and 4 thousand on 1 by 8 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 5 by 40 plus 4 by 40? That's why I told you when I'm solving, I saw the screen. Yeah, tell me how, how we got uh, 5 and 4. 8 into 5. Give you calculate what is the answer of 1 by 8 plus 1 by 10. Calculate and tell me quick. Ready? Rest of you try by this method quick. Fraction method by try. Yeah, shall we move ahead? Next question. Pipe A and B can fill the tank in 16 hours and 24 hours. Pipe A, pipe A and B, pipe A and B can fill the tank in 16 hours and 24 hours. In 16 hours and 24 hours, whereas Whereas pipe C can empty the full tank, whereas pipe C can empty the full tank in 40 hours. Whereas pipe C can, you're not writing this guy? Okay, but if you're asking uh, OIR, then officer intelligence rating. So what subject is going on here? Huh, do I go wrong? When I'm telling the you in some other direction, I have told to the old students also. Don't think that this is not for you. When you go for SSP, you have you have to face these questions. Okay, you are wished. Okay, 
5C can empty the full tank in how many hours? 40 hours. 5C can empty the full tank in 40 hours. 4 0. Written? All three pipes are open together. All three pipes are open together. But, but pipe A is closed after 10 hours. But pipe A is closed after 10 hours. But pipe A is closed after 10 hours. After how many hours will the remaining part of the tank will be filled? After how many hours? After how many hours the remaining part of the tank will be filled? Ready? Read the first statement. There are how many pipes? Pipe A, B, and Pipe C. Pipe A, what work they are doing? Oh, what? Filling or emptying? How many hours? 16 hours. Pipe B? 24 hours. Filling or emptying? Filling. Pipe C? Emptying. How many hours? 4 0. So, who is doing positive work? Who is doing negative work? A, B, positive work. C, negative work. Okay, so first, what I am going to do, I am going to find the LCM. Start finding the LCM of 16, 24, and 40. So, look at this. Okay, look at this. I will give you time to do by your own. So, what is the LCM of this? Start with 2, 8 are 16, 12, then 20, then 2, 4, 6, 10, then 2, 2, 3, 5, then 2, 1, 3, 5, then take 3, 1, 1, 5, and then you have last 5, 1, 1, 1. 5 into 3, 15. 15 twos are 30. 30 twos are 60. 60 twos are 120. 120 twos are how much? 2, 240 is the LCM. Whatever is the LCM, I consider this as my total work. Try to understand. What is the total work here now? Okay, so 240 is the total work. Now tell me, what is 240 by 16? 240 by 16. I divide it. Why I am dividing it? I want to check 16 hours A can do. In one hour, 240 by 16. So one hour A is doing how much? 15. Okay, now 24 by 24, 240 by 24, 10. 240 by 40, 6. 6 hours, right? Okay, so what is the efficiency of A? Efficiency of A, 15. Efficiency of B, 10. Efficiency of C, 
six. But who is doing negative work? Six is to uh, C is doing negative work. So what happens with this? Minus. Minus. Okay. Now here I have a formula. Total days, or you can say total time taken, is equal to total work by right? total efficiency. What is the total work? Two forty by this. Okay. Now let us try to first find the total efficiency. Total efficiency. Efficiency of A plus efficiency of B plus efficiency of C. Now tell me what happens. 15 plus 10 minus 6. So what happens? 25 minus 6. How much you get? 19 is the efficiency of A, B, and C. Okay. You have to one hour. You have to work 19. In one hour, all these three people, they are doing how much amount of work? 19. 19. Now there is a twist in the question. The question says that. Who is uh, A closed after how many hours? 10 hours. 10 hours. So imagine first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour, sixth hour, like this going on. So till sixth hour, all these three people are working. Till tenth hour, all these three people are working. In one hour, how much unit they are doing? 19. They are doing 19. So in 10 hours, can I say 19, 19, 19? So what is the answer? 19 into 10, how much is the answer? Yeah. Yes. So can I say for 10 hours, 19 into 10, how much amount of work is done? 190 work is done by all these three people. Okay. Now look at this. This is the total work 240. 190 is already done in 10 hours. So remaining is how much? Remaining is how much? How you got 50? 240 minus 190. How much you get? This is the remaining work. Now, what is the question they are asking? After how many hours will the remaining part of the time will be? Well, after how many hours? Okay, so they are asking time, right? So efficiency is. Uh, wait a minute. Now, this after how many hours will the remaining part of the time will be filled? Fifty by nineteen. One minute. Uh, after how many hours? That's it they have given, right? After how many hours the remaining part of the tank will be filled? So efficiency, we have to take 19, right? A left up. Huh? A is closed. Okay. So A is closed. So now A is not going to work. So now we have only two people. The remaining work will be done by B and C. So what happens? This is 50. Efficiency of B is 10. Efficiency of C is 6. So what you get? 50 divided by 4. So what is the final answer? Yeah, you get 25 by 2. This is the answer or you can say 12. Correct? 12.5. 12 oh, this is the answer. Take it down.
Yes, and so you're getting points 50 by 4 pillar, 25 by 2 pillar. Got it. This Maha there, Piru, Prashan. What? Ready? Next question. Okay, next is very easy. Try it. Two pipes, two pipes. D and E. Two pipes D and E can fill can fill the cistern. Can fill the cistern in 26 and 78 hours. In 26 and 78 hours. Two pipes D and E can fill the cistern in 26 and 78 hours, respectively. While working alone, respectively, while working alone, next line, full stop, next line. If the two pipes are open together, if the two pipes are open together, if the two pipes are open together, the time taken to fill the system is dashed. The time taken to fill the system is dashed. Yes, answer. 19.5. Yes, Maha. 26 and 78, correct now? 26 and 78. What is the first step you are going to do? Find the LCM. 26 and 78. What is the LCM you are getting? 78. LCM is 78. So can I consider this as my total work? Correct. Now. If it was 78 by 26, you will work with how many times? Three. Three times. And this is one time. Correct. Now, this is efficiency of pipe D and this is efficiency of pipe e. e. Okay. Now, what is the formula? Total time or you can say total days is equal to total work by efficiency. What is the total work? 78. What is the efficiency? 3 plus 1. So, what is the answer? 78 by 4. So, what is the answer? 19... 19 point or you can say 19 one and a half we can say 19 half with the right answer ready for the right question maha you understood next question tap a tap a 
can fill an empty tank alone in six hours? Tap A. Tap A can empty. You can fill a tank in six hours. Tap B alone can empty the same tank. Tap B. Tap B alone can empty the same tank in eight hours. Tab B, tab B can empty the same tank in eight hours. If they are opened alternate hours starting with A, if they are opened, if they are opened in alternate hours starting with A, then in how much time, then in how much time will the tank be full for the first time? Then in how much time, then in how much time, Will the tank be full for the first time? Wrong. Forty eight is wrong. Huh? 44 is wrong. 17 is wrong. Look here. Ready? Next question. Two pipes are there. Pipe A and pipe B. Pipe A can fill the tank in how many hours? Six hours. And pipe B can empty the tank in how many hours? Eight hours. So who is doing negative work? B is doing negative work. So what is the LCM of 6 and 8? LCM is 24. That 24 I'm writing here. This is my total work. Now 24 by 6 is how much? 4. 4. Many. Ruko. Ye 3 aega. See, okay. Idhar suno. Abhi negative work koon kar raha hai? Minus 3 kar raha hai. B negative work kar raha hai. Abhi yaha pe kya diya hai? Ki starting with A. Starting with A. First hour who is working? Yeah. First hour who is working? A. Second hour who is working? B. Next hour who is working? B. A. Next hour? B. This is continuing. Okay, this is continuing. What is our target? What is our target? 24. Now look at this. First hour, how much will it see? For this is our target 24. First, the work is done? 4. Second hour, minus 3. Next, 4. Next, minus 3. 4 minus EPA on the target, right? So what I do, first is 4, second hour, minus 3. So every 2 hours, every 2 hours, what is the unit of work done? What is the unit of, what is the work done? 1. Okay. Every 2 hours, 1 work is done. So how many hours will be required to do how much? 24. Correct? Now calculate it. 12 kaisa milega? 48 milega, right? 48 ke baad, ruko. Hmm. They are given right, all data are right, correct? Then same correct, na? 28. If they open in alternate hours, starting with 8. Then in how many time will the time will be full for the first time? Okay, so you get how many hours? 48, yeah, you're getting in 48 hours. This work, work will be done. 
option is there just a minute but they have given some other answer into 20. In two hours. Wait a minute. <coughs> yeah, this is in twenty four hours, correct? No? This is six hours, this is eight hours. So one unit of work is done in one hour, two hours. Two hours. Correct, right? So how much time taken to complete the work in? So some winning person what's the answer? They are given forty one. Okay, time being, you just do one thing. I'm getting 48. I'll just check what logic these people have applied. Okay, 40. The options they have given as, look at this. Options they have given 44, 47, 48, and 41. 44, 47, 48, and 41. So we got 48. But uh, let us see whether the assumption is wrong. According to me, it is right. A is four, he's doing four units. Four amount of work is already done. Correct now. And again, B. Sir, uh, but at uh, 47 hours, sir, it will be like 49 units. 47 hour. Hmm. It will exceed, right? 47 hour? See, at uh, 48 hour, we got like uh, filling 48 uh, parts, right, sir? Hmm. In 47 hour, it will be 49. And in 48 hour, it reduced one, right? Like hmm. that. So somewhere we are missing. Yeah, that's what we have. Uh, I think it is inversely proportional or something. Okay, we'll just take it now. First hour four units, second hour minus three. Next hour plus four, next minus three. So we have to reach till twenty four. Let us calculate for twenty hours how much? Four minus three is one. One plus one. So this is for complete. Uh, this is two four hours. So for four hours, it is how many units? Two units of work done. So for twenty-four, how much? Two into twenty-four divided by four. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time being, you keep it forty-eight. I'll just uh, you know do some other indirect method and method. Next, take it down. Two taps J and L. Two taps J and L can fill a tank in 10 minutes and 12 minutes. Two taps. Two taps J and L can fill a can fill a tank in 10 minutes and 12 minutes respectively. In 10 minutes and 12 minutes respectively. If an outlet tap K is opened, if an outlet tap, if an outlet tap K is opened. And all three taps work together. And all three and all three taps work together. Then the same tank will be filled in 15 minutes. Then the same tap, then the same tap, uh, the same tank can be filled in 15 minutes. How much time will tap K alone take? How much time? How much time? How much time will the tap K alone take to empty to empty the same tank? To empty the same tank.
Yes, done. Ready? No, tell me in fraction. Answer is in fraction. 11 mean by 6. 11 mean by 60 by 7. 60 by 7. Look here, we have J, we have L, and we have T. J can do the work in how many minutes? 10 minutes. How many? 10 minutes. 10. L? Minutes. 12. 12. And K? They didn't give K. Actually, they have given that J plus L plus K. They can do it in how many minutes? 15 minutes. So, first, I am going to find the LCM. So, 10, 12, and 15. So, what is the LCM? This is 2, 5, 6, 15. Then again, take 2, 5, 3, 15. Then again, take 3, 5, 1, 5. Then take 5, 1, 1, 1. 5 are 15, 15 twos are 30, 30 twos are 60. Is it right? LCM we got 60, correct now? Now 60 by 10 is how much? 6. 60 by 12, 5. 60 by 15, 4. Now look at this. JLK. JLK, what is the efficiency? 4. JLK efficiency is 4. So what I'm doing here, Vignesh and Murgesh, J plus L plus K is equal to how much? Four. The efficiency is 4. But one guy is doing negative work. Who is that? K is doing what work? Negative. Correct now. K what they are given? Negative. Emptying the tank. So it is a negative work. Now J, L, N. Do you know the efficiency of J? How much it is? 6. What is the efficiency? Not 10. It is 6. What is the efficiency of L? 5. Minus K is equal to 4. Now 6 plus 5. So can I say minus K is equal to 4 minus 11? What is 4 minus 11 gives you? Yeah? Minus k is equal to minus 7. I can cancel this minus and minus. So the efficiency of k is equal to how much? The efficiency of k is equal to 7. k alone will do the work in how many days? So what is the formula? Total days is equal to total work by total efficiency. What is the total work? 60. What is the efficiency of k? 7. 60 by 7 is the answer. Is it done? Take our next question. An inlet pipe can fill an empty tank in one twenty hours. An inlet pipe. An inlet pipe can fill an empty tank in 120 hours. While an outlet pipe drains completely filled tank in 54 hours. While an outlet pipe outlet pipe drains completely filled tank in 54 hours. 54 hours. If eight inlet pipes and three outlet pipes are open, if eight inlet pipes and three outlet pipes are open simultaneously, how much time will it take to completely fill? How much time will it take to completely fill? Eight inlet pipes and three outlet pipes.
and so how many of you are trying to do like this 120 and 54 right then you find the lcm how many of you try like this empty the tank 120 so you get some lcm what is the lcm you're getting 1080 so the efficiency will be minus then here efficiency will be okay plus you get something like this and now here there are eight inlet pipe right eight inlet pipes and three outlet pipes so you have three eight are you doing like this okay instead of this you can do like this you can take one by 120 into eight correct the inlet pipe no yeah. and then one by 54 into three now you do it you get these answer easy same method but since you are multiplying eight and three you will get very big lcm okay so instead of that you go with the fraction that will reduce your time Done. We have done how many six questions? Okay, six. Uh, we have done a part two type of question here. Part three is also same. Part three, part one, everything is like almost equal. You do uh, do one thing. Try to revise whatever we have done. Okay, evening after five thirty, we'll try to continue the rest. Okay, give me some time to revise. By evening, we'll do one second. Okay. So try to revise some GK or something like that. Evening will continue. 